Welcome back everyone to Alpha and Online. In today's video, I'm going to showcase the newly graphical update we are testing in Almay. If you're wondering, what is the graphical update all about? We basically changed the triangle terrain towards smooth terrain. Some people are probably being a little bit worried right now because smooth terrain sounds way heavier than triangle terrain. Actually, for some weird reason, Roblox made smooth terrain less laggy than triangle terrain. That means you can actually play the game with less lag only there's one downside with smooth terrain the loading screen is a little bit longer in comparison when we use bricks slash triangle terrain because triangle terrain is made out of bricks and that is basically the only difference a lot of more details have been added Slevin has worked very very hard this night to release this update and make it look very very pretty so we have loaded in and you maybe already saw a little bit of the smooth terrain the city itself hasn't changed any Anything because we kept the city the same so we are just gonna fly outside and you will be probably amazed by this graphical update there should be no lag and if you already used that flag that should be a little bit less or the exact same so we are just gonna fly outside and you can see everything feels so smooth we're running on 10 graphics and that's basically just the max graphics Roblox has you see some other people fighting over there and we are just gonna dive outside and you already notice smooth terrain more details more trees more animals more stuff so that is basically what this update has to offer we are gonna of course add more stuff like this in the future towards sylphane got done and maybe even the dungeon so we are working very very hard to convert the whole game towards smooth terrain you maybe have noticed some stuff actually changes when you fly that is basically roblox making less lag with smooth terrain in distance it is less detailed when you're near it it is more detailed look if i fly back you maybe see the details disappear see boom some details disappear and that basically makes it less laggy. It is a little bit weird and we cannot change that but that is just how Roblox work. Like you see over there the path, boom, now it's filled up. That is actually a really, really good thing as well because that basically makes the game less laggy. Also, I want everyone to comment down below what you guys think about this graphical update and of course your own experience upon joining. Everything should just work, there should be no issues and all that kind of awesome stuff. Also, we have paths right now, you can just follow the path to get to area where you want to be too so you do not have to explore massively anymore but there's still a decent exploring vibe also there are more wolves there are more boars there's just more things overall in the map the map has been a little bit shrinked though if i'm correctly it's just a little bit more tiny but you know overall it's just still a massive map so we just gotta instant kill everything over here the magic is still a little bit broken though because it doesn't show the bubble but we are working very very hard on that so we got a other salamander flying over here and he seems to be going towards the alpha wolf himself so that's awesome to see that people actually use the paths right now just to go towards another location so i really really like how the map actually looks like right now because we got normal brick uh roads and then we got sand roads sand roads basically indicates a off road where you can find accessories or just an other thing because you still have to keep your eyes open for accessory points because there are ton and ton on different new locations that basically just means you have to keep your eyes open and just search for the things that you have to find so wow that wolf just spawned in mid air and he's like nope i'm gonna roll down because we have a around 100 studs spawn range spawn system that basically means the wolf will barely spawn on its own location and it makes it look a little bit cooler because the wolf will just walk back and once the wolf walk back you are most of the times dead it basically gives you a little bit more of an immersive feeling about how the wolves work so we are just gonna fly around and you can see the terrain just looks so and so pretty like we got some couple of wolves just falling down for some weird reason though because sometimes they seem to be spawning in mid air because the smooth terrain is a little bit sideways we are gonna of course look in towards that if we can change that but anyway we are just gonna fly around we're gonna dive down also this terrain makes flying and diving and all that stuff way and way more easier most of the locations are still in the same location like the accessories and oh wow that an accessory Ooh, we just found an amazing accessory so we're gonna pick that accessory up and we found delta enhanced cape 
Enchanted, sorry, if I enhance, if I did I not read correctly, so that is pretty pretty awesome So we are just gonna look around We're gonna keep our eyes open of course in case we can find more accessories more other cool stuff and so on So we have a lot of mobs everywhere now So most of the times you will see a mob almost 90% out of the time because you know they will spawn in or they are already spawned in by other people so we are just gonna go towards the main landmarks basically the ancient forest temple how, look, how that looks like then we're gonna go towards the castle and after that we're gonna go towards the cave just to see how it looks like because you know it's very very important so the road stops over here and you can see that it's just a little bit more hilly area over here making it more hill ish looking makes it already look way and way more better so the roads just lead up towards the area so basically follow the roads and you will find the dungeons and all the other cool stuff that you have to find so that is really really cool in my opinion that just looks very very awesome so we are gonna go towards the fun bar castle and you see how that one looks like also i'm planning to change the size of the sylphane uh portal because, you know, it's a little bit tiny and some people actually have issues finding it. But, of course, with the new Smooth Terrain update, it should be a little bit easier. Also, we have a really, really big server. For the people wondering, we are running in a... I'm actually going to check how many people are running in this server. So, we are going to go towards Alpha Malign Alne server. Then we're going to scroll down. We are in a server with 21 other people currently in the game that means we have nine more slots in total because we have noticed if we run on a 30 plus surfer the game just doesn't like that many people flying around and all that kind of stuff that's why we kept it on that so we have a lot of wolves just randomly wandering around and we got a sand path in no actually also a normal path in the distance over there like walking right now in this game is way more satisfying as well because you know it feels like you actually walk on a road and all that kind of stuff so this area has not massively changed but it has changed indeed and i can see an accessory up there we're gonna pick up that accessory because then we got a little bit more height and then we're gonna dive down straight down towards the main capital city again towards Alne, and then fly straight towards cave descent because we want to look at that cave as well but of course you can see look at this massive landscape now look at that render distance that looks just so awesome so we're gonna pick up this helmet boop. it's a boop. there we go roman helmet we're gonna dive straight down and we are just gonna look over towards the left area of the train that we didn't look at yet. And then we're gonna go straight towards the city again. So far, almost, I think, of the map right now is the main train is 100%, well, 99% smooth train because we got a couple of rocks that are just normal props and the trees. And, of course, the main city and that is basically it and for the rest it's all smooth terrain we got a couple of trees weirdly in the distance i'm gonna remove those very very soon underneath the map because you know they shouldn't be on the map itself and that is basically it so what do you guys think so far what do you guys think be sure you comment down below and be sure you press the like button as well what you guys if you of course agree with this update because you know um, Slevin was working on the Undine City actually and he was planning to make it and then he was like why not make it in smooth terrain so we are first gonna stress test it on this place it seems like everything just works and that's really really good as well because it just works and that is of course very important look at that we got a wolf down there so that shows that are more NPCs around everywhere right now so that is also really really good so I'm gonna lower those trees underneath the map so no one will see the trees anymore and that is basically it a lot of has changed a lot of looks more detailed now a lot looks more pretty so people probably will now be like yeah the trees all look the same well that is of course to reduce the lag people it's a forest it's a forest and also this area also has just changed it is in the lower area right now so the middle area is the safest area and then you got this lower area and that is basically the lower area so it speaks for itself so we're gonna fly straight towards cave descent just to see how that area looks like right now because i have not seen anything so far 
of this game because you know this is also first impressions of me i did a little bit of testing so i know a couple things but that is it this is just a complete first impressions so we got a complete road just leading up towards the areas you want to go to and yeah i'm kind of happy about that that the roads are there to be you know showing everything so we got cave descent and then we got the cave entry oh that looks way cooler to be honest look at that so you just got the cave entry and then oh a random boy just pops out of there it's like pop and then you enter that and that's basically it so anyway guys if you want to see more of this game be sure you press the like button if you enjoyed this update as well be sure you do that as well be sure you put your thoughts about this update in the comments down below and of course we are working on the undine city first sylvain that should take half a day then gandan should take another half a day and then the undine city will be made in a couple of days as well and that is basically it player housing is coming very very soon and customization as well so be sure you guys stick around for that and please say it with me three two one peace out yeah and i will see you all next time Woo!